coaches of the seventh grade also coach the eighth grade team. So for the South Bulldogs, it's Anthony Melvin, and for the North Cadex, Silef Harris. As the teams downstairs meeting at midfield for the coin toss, you can watch today's game on WSONradio.com or the WSON Radio app. If you're in the app, just click on the menu on the top left-hand side and scroll down and do live video, and that will get you access to our live video stream of tonight's eighth grade game here on WSON featuring Henderson's two middle school, North Middle School versus South Middle School here on WSON. Special thanks to our middle school football sponsors this afternoon. The Poncho Club, St. Anthony's Hospice, Assurance Consulting and Testing Solutions, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance on Zion Road, the Henderson Police Department, Sureway, Hargis Collision, JJ's Burgers and Pies, Dixon's Appliance and Furniture, Bulls Electric, Baird, DSS Rentals, ATA CPAs and Business Advisors, and Henderson County Schools and Heron Auction Realty will bring us our halftime show here on WSON for the Cadets and the Bulldogs, the eighth grade game coming up here from Colonel Stadium on the campus of Henderson County High School here in Henderson. I'm Greg Busby with Scott Stone. Steve Town will join us on the sidelines. Isaac Thatcher at Studio Control in downtown Henderson. Ben Stone on our video stream today. And uh, thanks for joining us not only here on air, but also on our video stream here on WSON brought to you by Owensboro Health and your local State Farm Insurance agent and Thrasher Boyd. So North will get the ball first. North usually in the wishbone, and Greg, they'll show a formation we ain't used to seeing. It's called the Beast Formation. The Beast. The Beast. The beast. No wide receivers. Four guys lined up side by side in the backfield. <laughs> the Beast. Interesting formation. It will be Norse football to start here as South will kick it off. North will be moving right to left on your radio now here in this opening quarter. And a kickoff goes out of bounds. So North will get the football to start. We, we saw a little bit of, uh, we saw the 35, 40, then where it went out. It appears this time that it is going to be where yeah, it went back out. To where it yeah, went yeah, out. Yeah, and that's the way it should be. Right. Unless so, it's past the 40. 35, yeah. Yep. So it'll be uh, at the 47 yard line for, well, actually, they're going to put it on the, wow, 48 of south. So maybe they're just moving it up five yards. Continuation from last game. So North <laughs> will start on the South 48-yard line. From under center, wishbone look behind the quarterback, and they're going to hand it off on first down to North's number 18. Need some help with that roster, Steve. We don't have 18 unlisted on our roster from North. So there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of late additions, I was okay. told, by the principal, Will Roberts, so we'll try to get them as we go. Okay. okay. They said Karen Cole on the – Thanks. Which is number seven. That's right. Thank you, Scotty. We did get that one. So, Karrion Cole, the first uh, handoff there. He was number seven, now 18. And it is a gain of six yards, bringing up a second and four here for North. This time they hand it off to Drake Chapman, and he has a first down inside the cadet 35-yard line down to the 34, a gain of six for Chapman. Yeah, here at field level, North is really hitting those holes quickly, something we didn't see in the seventh grade game, but that just kind of shows you the, the progression that is made between seventh and eighth grade football, and you see even more of that when it goes from eighth grade to freshman football, but so far, North looking good on offense. Braden Dennis is the quarterback for the cadets under center. With the wishbone look behind him. And he's going to hand it off, but a big hit in the backfield. Nice tackle by Jonathan Langley as he met wow. Cole for about a three-yard loss. He said not today. A loss to the 37-yard line. So a second and 13 coming up for North at the cadet excuse me, at the uh, Bulldog 37. 6.15 to play opening quarter. No score here in the eighth grade matchup. 
earlier today. South won the seventh grade game, 48 to six. The beast formation. So you got the uh, quarterback in the gun with three backs to him, and it's going to be a run on the right side and a nice carry. Now a stiff arm, first down and more far sideline, tripped up inside the 15 yard line. A nice carry for the quarterback, Braden Dennis. First and goal coming up for North on a big run from Dennis. Twenty-seven yards on that carry, and a first and goal from the ten for North. And those three running backs, whatever you want to call them, out there blocking for him. Nice run. Yep. The quarterback. There it is again. Yep. Three backs to the right of him, and he's going to hand one off and getting down about the eight. Ball comes out, loose ball. It's stripped out. I can't tell who recovered. No signal just yet. South they, saying they have it. That would be a big play. They're still unpiling. And it is South football. Wow, forced the fumble inside the 10. Big play by the Bulldogs defense. And like North was really rolling there, but a big play defensively to force the fumble. And it'll be South's ball deep in their own territory, but they're glad to have it there at their own eight yard line. South quarterback Tucker Seward. Gained 40 yards. So big turnover there. Seward has Mikey Woolfork and Jonathan Langley in the backfield with him. And a handoff coming near side to Woolfork up the near sideline. Excuse me, that may be Langley. Yeah, Langley. Langley up the near sideline. He could have a big run. Was he pushed out of bounds? And no signal just yet. And this could be a huge run. Apparently 92 yards. Thought he may have been pushed out of bounds near midfield, but he tight roped the sideline. Wow. And it looks to be a 92-yard touchdown run for Langley. Jonathan Langley. He's, he just all of a sudden with a spurt ability and he, Pushes it in another gear. And that's what he did on that sideline, Greg. And somehow stayed in bounds. What a run for Langley. Wow. I got news for you. That, he was making noise. I could hear him running as he ran behind me. That's a great run by the young man. Well, just like that, one play, 92 yards after North turned it over. At the South 10, a huge run for Langley and South an early 6-0 lead going for two here. What a run. Seward takes a half, fakes a handoff to Wolf Fork. He's gonna throw toward the end zone and the two point conversion is good. Making the catch is Caden Johns. And with 4.53 to play in the first quarter, it's South 8, North nothing here on WS. South to kick it off, and it's going to go out of bounds after Jonathan Langley 92-yard touchdown run puts the Bulldogs on the board after they forced a big fumble after North was driving. 
but fumbled on the Bulldog eight. And then Langley, 92 yards for the score, two point conversion good. Eight nothing south here with 450 to play in this opening quarter. Eight minute quarters here for middle school football. And North had a pretty good drive going. Yeah, they, they had did, six they plays, did. 40 yards. They yeah. just had that big fumble. And North will start this drive at their own 40 yard line. <coughs> Dennis will work from under center. Takes a snap. Kind of backpedals, now looking to throw deep downfield. Big arm, and it's incomplete at about the 20 yard line. His intended receiver was Jamarion Isabel, who kind of came up like he may have cramped up a bit on that play, is down at the 15-yard line. That no, young man is fast. No contact there. Big arm. Yeah, I hate to see what he'd have done if he hadn't lost his balance right, while yeah. retreating like that. I mean, that's a uh, Brandon Dennis and uh, does a great job of uh, throwing the football man down on the field right now, so everybody taking a knee, which is customary. Yeah, I think it's a cramp down there because okay. there was no contact, so... That is Isabel, and he's back up. Yeah, that young man can fly on the basketball court, too. And he's going to walk off under his own power, but I think he just may have got a muscle cramp. Trying to go full throttle for that deep pass from Dennis. And set a second and ten for North. 4.34 to play in this opening quarter. South on top, 8 nothing. Second and 10 for North at their own 40-yard line. And movement on the line of scrimmage. Penalty marker in appears to be against South. It will be a five-yard penalty against the Bulldogs, and it'll be a second and five now for the Cadets at their own 45. As the Bulldogs a little anxious. Dennis gonna hand it off for Bumble. no gain. The ball pops out. But this time, North recovers. Cole on the carry, Chapman on the recovery actually got a yard. So it'll be third and four from the 46. I think the fumble helped him get the yard. I think you're right, Scotty. <laughs> Third and four. And here's a snap to Dennis. He's going to hand it off and try to get to the right side and breaking a tackle and getting about three yards, but a yard shot of a first down is Cole. Hard run, but it's going to be a fourth and one from the 49. You know, thus far, you've got to be impressed with the North running attack. They knew if they were going to stay in this one, have a shot, they're going to have to run the ball effectively. And they did the first time down. They didn't give up the ball in the fumble in which uh, South turned into a 92-yard touchdown. But they're back now running the ball well again. But they need a big play here to keep the drive alive. They do indeed. Fourth and one from their own 49 here with 2.40 to go in the first quarter, trailing 8 nothing. So big play here early in the game. That beast formation is working pretty well for them. And moving the line of scrimmage at South Jump, it could be an automatic first down for North on fourth down. Well, it appears it will be. Mistake there on the side of the Bulldogs. And a fourth and one with a penalty now turns into a fresh set of downs. And first and 10 from the 46 now for North. Dennis going to keep it himself. And he's going to get about three yards to the 43-yard line. They bring up a second and seven for the cadets. 
Minute 55 to go in his first quarter. South eight, north, north nothing. North uh, good off big drive, but fumbled inside the South 10. And then Jermaine, uh, Jonathan Langley went 92 yards for South. The next play to give them the eight nothing lead. Big shift in momentum after the big stripped fumble from South and the recovery, then the touchdown. Second and seven. Dennis trying to come near side. The quarterback wants to keep it himself. And he has about three yards or so to the 40. We'll see where he's knocked out of bounds. Actually, may have got wow. the first down. Looks like to me he was kind of knocked out at the 40, but they're marking him Whoa. at about the 34. So it is a first down. So... Fresh to the downs for North, first and 10 from the South 34. And up getting nine yards. We saw Langley kind of tight rope the sideline <laughs> on that big run. And sure a good did. job by Dennis there to do it. That's their fourth first down. Maybe a little extra room on this near side, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it, it is because both of them ran that same side. It was the same sideline. <laughs> First and 10 for North at the South 34. Dennis, again, going to keep him himself and going to go for no gain. Good job by South Tacklers there, host of Bulldogs there to stop Dennis. That is the end of the first quarter. After one, South eight, North nothing here in the eighth grade game on WSON. South on top of North. We're in the eighth grade game, 8 nothing. Before we get going, Steve Towns downstairs with another guest. All right, I've got a North alum, guys. Uh, uh, current Colonel quarterback, uh, Max Thompson. Max, congratulations on the win last night. Thank you. Talk about this rivalry. It was always a lot of fun getting ready when North played South, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a big rivalry, a lot of trash talking. What uh, was your record in those two games? 2-0. Uh, 2-0. Oh. Two and oh. Not many North cadets can say that, can they? Nope. All right, well, congratulations on last night's win, and congratulations and good luck coming up Friday in Owensboro. Thank you. Max Thompson, gentlemen, back to you. All right, thank you, Steve. Down there with the Colonels quarterback the last couple weeks, Max Thompson in for Trajan Davis. It should be second and 10 from the 34-yard line. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what are they doing, I think? So they're going to give them the ball at the 20. 28-yard line. <laughs> Looks like a second and one. It's a six-yard game. <laughs> so it's second and nine instead of what should have been second and ten. Ten, yeah. From the 34. There is no gain. If anything, gain of one. And now North going to North's going to take a timeout. We'll take it as well before we get started here in the second quarter. South on top, eight nothing here on WSO. <laughs>
I think they wave off that snap. I don't think they're on the right yard line. And they're getting trying to get that squared out to start the second half. Should be on the 34. <laughs> And Should apparently, I, and I guess maybe they gained it, it, what we thought was 34 and second and 10, no gain, but maybe they thought they gained a yard. I think just look at the scoreboard. Even if you gain a yard, you don't go to the 28. Right, right. But, I mean, it could be, at least be nine. It could be a second and nine instead of a second the and 34. 10. That's yeah, right. yeah. That's what it should be. I think maybe now they're going to get the football back where it should be. Officials. Having a little trouble. I mean, I don't understand. All they got to do is is look at the scoreboard. Well, no, all you got to do is last you, last play. When you pick up first the ball, down, second down. When you pick up the ball. You look at what yard you're right, on. Right, right down there. Right. The officials is holding the ball, still meeting out there here in the North Eighth Grade game. Of, hot, hottest part of the day. When they switch sides, <laughs> they got everybody a little confused. I think we'll leave it there, Scotty. No, they're going to. No, what they're going to do is, is they're going to leave it there, but there's a, they're going to back it up five yards because they were offsides before our coaching staff could get their attention. So offsides on north, second 14. So with the football coming near side for north is Drake Chapman, and Chapman going to be brought down at around the 35-yard line for a loss of a couple. As we're just underway here in the second quarter, 8 nothing south on top of North here. It's the uh, middle school, Henderson Middle School game between North Middle School and South Middle School. I'll tell you what, the crew we had last night, they did a great job on marking the ball and stuff, considering we had over oh, my 35 flags last wow. night. Wow. That's a lot of markings of yeah, the ball. It is, it is. <laughs> it was a three-hour yeah. game. And so a, lot a lot of points. Third and 15 here for North at the Bulldog 35-yard line. So far, North 14 play, South one play. Dennis under center takes a snap. He's going to hand it off and coming near side, getting down inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line. Is Kieran Cole. Cole. And this will bring up a fourth and manageable situation here, about a fourth and five. Now for the Cadets of the Bulldog 23. This is a nine play drive. I guess they need the 19, so it's about a fourth and four coming up here for. North, who trail it 8-0 with 620 to play in this first half. And now penalty marker in. Movement against North, North will back him up. So now a fourth and four becomes a fourth and nine. Ouch. So football back to the 28-yard line and a fourth and nine now for North. And the clock stopped for some reason. There we go. It's going. And they're going to hand it off and a pal pushing to about the 21-yard line, which would be a couple yards shy of a first down. So it'll be a turnover on downs after that carry. From JV and Young, but a turnover on downs as South will take over at the 21 yard line. So South leading 8 0, have the football at the 21 with five and a half minutes to go in his first half. North's doing a good job of limiting South. Possessions. Yep, yep. I gave it a football a long time, but nothing to show for it so far. After a fumble inside the South 10 and then a turnover on downs there. Seward going to hand it off. Coming near side, Mikey Woolfork still on his feet and going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. 
A gain of 14 for Wolfork and the Dogs. Mark him out at the 37, so make it a 36, 37 yard line and a gain of 16. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. South from their own 42. Seward, handoff the right side, far sideline. Langley trying to get to the edge. Escapes one tackler. Now trying to reverse field coming near side, but he's going to be brought down inside the 40 on a nice tackle by Paxton Cowan. Gave it all back, guys. He did. He, did. he reminds me of Pac-Man. He just got, he's just trying to find an open, open corner. Yeah, and, I, and the thing is, it was, it was almost like he was heading to a first down, and when he backtracked, I think it wound up with, what, a gain of two? Yep. Second and eight coming up. That really brought his average down, too, because he's now two for 94. Under four minutes to play, first half, South with the football leading 8 nothing on their own 39. See where it takes a snap. He's going to throw. It's complete at the 45, middle of the field. At 50, now coming left side and being brought down at the north 44. Making the grab for South is Caden Johns. Good pass play there, Seward to Johns, good run after the catch. And Johns is in North Territory at the Cadet 45. 16 yard gain. First and 10 from the 45. Seward wow. going to throw deep near sideline incomplete. Let his receiver a bit too far. He was looking for Johns, but it goes incomplete. And the clock stops with 2.50 left in this first half. Be sure to join us Friday night, regular season finale for the Henderson County Football Colonels. On the road at Owensboro, pregame 6.05, kickoff at 7. And the Colonels will be back here in 13 days starting the playoffs. Warren Central, right, Scotty? Yes, sir. Yes, will be the opponent for the Colonels in the uh, first round. Out of I'm the, sure time to and be it could, And it could be McCracken in the second round. Or Barron, yeah. Yeah, uh, like I said, McCracken in the second round. I don't know. I thought they'd beat Davis too. but good. There's a nice pass. Well, that's true. Flip up the near side and getting to about the 35-yard line, making the grab is Marini. Penalty marker in. At the 28, after the pass to Marini. We have personal foul against South. It was it a late hit, Scotty? I did not no, see it. Uh, probably a blindside hit. Okay. Blindside block, sorry. Satan Key appeared to kind of be the victim of that hit. Yeah, personal foul against personal South. Fouls. South. Fouls. So back about 15 yards. So that'll place the football back at the north 46 and be a second and 11. So second and 11 coming up here. Are they gonna give him a first, first down? It should not be a first down because it happened during the play. Yeah, good point. Happened during the play, so it should not be a first down. I don't think it's accuracy that we're after here, gentlemen. <laughs> Officials getting together to talk about, I think, down and distance here. Yeah, the ball's marked at the right spot, and it should be second down because it happened during the play, not after the yeah, play. Yeah, it wasn't a dead ball foul. If it happened after the play, then the – First down counts, Stands, yardage, yeah. st the yardage goes down, everything. Guys, when this quarter ends, I'll get a quick word from South Coach Anthony Melvin. 
Sounds good as the officials still trying to figure out this. They've had a little tough time here in this second quarter at the start of it, trying to get the ball in the right spot and now trying to figure out this penalty. Three officials uh, here in middle school, so don't see everything. So all three are kind of getting together and discussing that. Part of this crew is a father-son tandem from Owensboro. And the son is quite young. He's doing these games, I think, at the age of 18. Oh, wow. So it's going to be first and 25 is what they're saying. So they're going to give him the first down and then after the play. So it's first. So they're saying that it did come after the play. Correct. So 5, 10, 15. That's not right, though. It's got a 20-yard penalty. It's not a 20-yard penalty. You got you to you move the sticks up. The first down stick should be moved up five yards. Yeah. They're trying to get them to move up now. That is correct. So who was that pass to? Because that, that completion goes down as – a uh, Marini, number seven, Scotty, for okay. South. <clears throat> so then that's a completion for the uh, for South. And now North will take a timeout. 2.45 to go in the half. Timeout North. It is South 8, North nothing here in the eighth grade game on WSO. It's South football. First and 25 at the north 46-yard line. Snap to Seward. Going to hand it off to Langley, trying to get the far sideline outside the numbers, and he's going to be brought down inside the 30, down near the 28. It's a big run there for Langley, and it gives him a good shot here on third down. And he looks like, you know, with the clock still over two minutes to go, South's got a chance to put this up two scores. And I think South has all their timeouts left, right, yes. Scotty? Yep. 109 yards for Langley now on three carries. Wow. Had the big 92-yard touchdown run for the only score of the game. And it's just second and seven. I mean, he made it really doable now to keep the chains moving. Yeah, big run there. Under two minutes to play in the half. South on top, 8 nothing. Snap to Seward. Hand off to Woolfork. And he's going to be dropped for a loss of a few yards. A tackle on the play by Javian Young for North. And now third and 10 at the North 31 for South. As we go under 90 seconds to play in the first half. First third down for South. Of course, just second possession. This is what North wanted. Both teams to touch the ball maybe seven or eight times, and that's it. Yep, each team's had uh, two possessions here. North had the fumble inside the South 10 and a turnover and down. South had the big 92-yard touchdown run, and this their second possession. There's Seward pass complete at the 25-yard line. Nice catch. And being brought down at the 18, a first down for the Bulldogs on the reception from Johns.
clock stopped to move the chains time and a timeout taken. 51 seconds left, eight nothing south on top and south with the football in the north red zone when we come back. Fifty-one seconds left in the half. First and ten for South at the Cadet 19-yard line. South on top, eight nothing. And a penalty marker in. A legal procedure against South will back them up five yards. So that'll get them to the 24 with 43 seconds left. I think South with did they call, South with two? with two? Yeah. Okay. South with two timeouts. North with one. I think uh, had the same guy. But the board's got three and one. And three for North. No way. <laughs> First and 15 for South. See, we're going to throw over the middle. Wide open has his man at the 15. He's brought down at the 10. Well, hit the tight end. It was a nice grab by Jace Duncan on the throw from Seward. It'll be about a second and two at the 11. Ball Seward under center made to spike it here. No, he's going to hand it off to Wolfork off the right side. He's at the five, still on his feet, spins, and he's in for the touchdown. 11-yard touchdown run for Mikey Wolfork here near the end of the half to make it 14-0. That's a 10-play drive by the Bulldogs. Nice drive. Wow. 416 off the clock. That was a really good drive. With just 15 seconds remaining. In this first half, big score there and a big drive from south. 79-yard drive, Scotty. Yep. What would you say, nine plays? Wow. Ten. Ten plays. Great middle school drive there, or any drive for anybody. They'll go for two. Snap to Seward. It's going to throw corner of the end zone up for grabs, and it's no good. Two-point conversion fails. But it's south on top, 14 to nothing, 15 seconds left in the half when we come back on WSON.
have. Stay tuned immediately after this half ends. Steve Town will have a brief word with South head coach Anthony Melvin to get his first half thoughts as the kickoff goes out of bounds right over the head of some of the cheerleaders. Yep. So 13 seconds. North, we believe, has one timeout. We'll see what they want to do with this final 13 of the first half trailing 14 to nothing. They should put the beast formation in and throw it to that one wide receiver because they've ran it every time. They're going to have it at their own 44-yard line. North fumbled inside the south 10, turned over on down, so they're just their third touch here of this first half with just a few seconds remaining. And the quarterback, Dennis, fakes the handoff. He's going to keep it, stiff arms a man, and he's going to be brought down at the 50-yard line, a gain of six yards, but that will be the end of the first half. South on top of North, 14 to nothing. The big run by Langley, 92 yards after the fumble, and then Wolf works 11-yard run, the difference, and Steve Town is downstairs with South head coach Anthony Melvin to get his first half thoughts with the Bulldogs leading 14 nothing at the break. Steve? All right, uh, Coach Melvin, your thoughts on the first half, sir? Uh, very good half. Their, their offense is running the ball methodically, keeping our defense on the field. Our offense is explosive. We just need to get them the ball more. Coach, best of luck in the second half. Thank you so much. Go Bulldogs. All right, and that's Coach Melvin. Gentlemen, back to you. All right, thank you, Steve. Steve will have a brief word with uh, Coach Harris when he brings his team out for the second half. As North had some opportunities, but the uh, big fumble key in this game and the big run, and it's south on top of North, 14-0 here at the half. Stay tuned for Colonels at the half coming up next, brought to you by Heron Oxford Realty, your halftime score. South 14, North nothing here in the eighth grade game on WSO.
uh, for North. Dennis, five carries for 45 yards. Uh, Keon Cole, five carries, 19 yards. Drake Chapman, three carries for 12. And Javier Young, one carry for two yards. They did pick up four first downs, but the big turnover uh, really hurt them. And then a turnover on downs on one of their drives really hurt them bad. Uh, for South, Tucker Seward was four for five, passing for 56 yards. Marini was one catch, 15 yards. Caden Johns, two catches, 28 yards. Jace Duncan, one catch, 13. On the ground, Jonathan Langley, three carries for 109. Mikey Wolford, three carries for 24. They had five first downs. And that's pretty much all I got. All right, thank you, Scotty. Halftime scores south on top of north of the eighth grade game, 14 nothing. We'll hear from Heron Auction and Realty. Be back with the second half coming up next here on WSON. Second half of play, South on top of North, 14-0. South to get the football to start this second half after Jonathan Langley had a 92-yard touchdown run after South forced a North fumble inside the South 10. And then late in that first half, Mikey Wolfork, an 11-yard touchdown run to put the Bulldogs on top here in the eighth grade game, 14-0. South won the seventh grade game. Big 48-6 North. Lone score came in the last seconds of that ball game. So South 
looking for the seventh grade, eighth grade football sweep as South will be receiving left or right here in this third quarter. Guys, I'm going to give a quick word with Coach uh, Sally Ferris. Coach, what's uh, this? What's your team got to do in the second half to get back in this? We just got to be physical, keep flying to the football, and keep doing what we're doing. Good luck, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. Coach Ferris, back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Steve. Bulldogs, number two, Caden Johns, and number eight, Jonathan Langley. North will be kicking into this breeze a little bit. And an end over end is going to be taken at the 32 yard line by South. Coming near side, Caden Johns on the return. Now he reverses field. Fumble the football, picked up by North. Cadets going the other way, and it's going to be a touchdown for North. Drake Chapman on the recovery and took it in from about 18 yards out. And a huge score there for the Cadets. Wow, that was a great job there. And again, Johns is trying to stay alive, but then I think just too much work involved there, and he ended up putting the ball on the ground, and North very opportunistic. Kind of had the ball in one hand there, Steve, and not close to his body, and kind of just got hit on the left side, kind of dropped it out of his right hand. Yep. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. That's right. So Drake Chapman, the scoop and score for North to get the cadets on the board. Cadets to go for two, trailing 14-6 with 7.42 to go in this third quarter. Snap to Dennis, the quarterback, trying to keep it himself, trying to get to the corner, and he will. Two-point conversion good for Dennis. It's South 14, North 8, 7.42 to go in the third. Back under this. Seven forty-two to go in the third. North to kick off again to South. After a scoop and score for Drake Chapman, and this kickoff is going to go out of bounds. So South will have it at the thirty-five yard line. A big play for North to start this second half to get back in it, make it a. 14 to 8 game. I told the principal, Will Roberts, just before that kickoff, he says, Well, you're going to walk across the field. You're not going to jog across. I said, Well, he's going to kick it out of bounds anyway. He said, No, we're going to kick it deep. I said, I wouldn't do that. So, again, what do I know? So, it'll be Bulldogs at their own 37, leading 14 8. Just underway, third quarter. Snap to Seward, and he's going to run it himself, but he's going to be taken down for a loss. A stop on the play by North Landon Barnett. Now a penalty marker in. They're going to get a personal foul on North after the play. Now Zane Lewis going to be hit with a flag, going to be escorted off the field by his head coach. And that's Tyrone Young, or that's uh, Jamal Young. Not sure what happened there, but that was well, after a loss, and then got into it on the it was on the field. Got into it with uh, Johns, number two for South, and they were just just a little ex extracurricular hand fighting afterwards. 
Just two young athletes going at I'm sure John's with the frustration of what happened on the kickoff return just moments ago. Yep, and now North coach Salif Harris out kind of talking with the officials here. Yeah, North's got a little fire in them now because they're back in it. I think they're wanting maybe, you know, it wasn't just my guy. Yeah. Yep. At the moment, a six-yard loss, but it's going to be 15 yards after that, which I think. First down. First down. I don't know. I better wait until they put the yeah, ball I down. Think they, <laughs> I don't remember them doing that in high school this year, Scotty, what, even on the personal foul. But, uh, so they got just enough for – so it must have been a five-yard loss. So it is a first and ten now for South at the 47. Seward handoff to Woolfork off the right side, has the 50 in the North Territory brought down at the Cadet 44 yard line. Drake Chapman on the tackle for the Cadets. Close to a first down. And it is getting a little chippy out there. Yes, it is now. <laughs> we see, we see uh, South head coach kind of Melvin Harris get out there and calm some guys down before well, Mikey flags got are thrown. I think Mikey got hit in the eye, maybe. It is a gain of 10 and a first down to the north 43-yard line. Oh, wow, he got a good mark here. Thought he was short, just a little. That clock should have been running. There it goes. So Seward in the gun on this first and 10 from the 43-yard line. A high snap, and then he got it off on the right side, but in the backfield. Wrong person got it. A big, okay, a big loss. <laughs> Caden Lambert, a nice tackle. Marini ended up with a football, and he was tackled for a six-yard loss. I got to take a timeout. Yeah, timeout. 6.52 to go on the third, South 14, North 8 here in the eighth grade game. Back after this on WSON. South on a second and 16 near midfield. Screen complete to Woolfork, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the Cadet 43-yard line. So he gets six back, and it'll be a third and 10 for South. The Dogs have the 14-8 lead with six and a half minutes to play in the third quarter here from Colonel Stadium in Henderson. It's the annual North-South Middle School game. Seventh grade game earlier. South won that one big over North 48-6. Much closer contest here in the eighth grade game with South leading by six, 14-8. to Bulldogs fourth and 10 from the Cadet 43. Two receivers either side for Seward. Takes a low snap on a handoff to Woolfork, trying to run it off the left side. And he's going to be brought down at the 40-yard line on the tackle by Chapman. A gain of three, and it'll be a fourth and seven at the 40. Guys, we've seen a lot better tackling out of this north defense, especially here in the early part of the second half. And that is translated to the mood on the sideline as well, as these kids are really getting behind their teammates. So South going to go for it here from 
the North 40 facing a fourth and seven. Seaward in the gun, split backs to either shoulder for Tucker, and now a penalty marker in, and we'll see who it's on. It's on South. So a fourth and seven now goes to a fourth and 12. Back Huge the penalty there. Yeah. We thought it was initially on North, and the North sideline did as well. They were kind of disappointed, but only to see the young man jump because of the movement by the South line. So fourth and 12 from the 45 now for South. Seward going to throw downfield left, and it's going to be incomplete down at the 18-yard line. A turnover on downs, and North will get the football back. The cadets will take over on downs. And for the cadets on that play, Dennis. Yeah, their quarterback kind of holding his right ankle, kind of flexing that. He's going to come right back out here and play offense, or somebody else will be in there at quarterback. Yeah, I don't look for him to be out too long. He's up on his own power right now. He's got a limp, but I think once he's on the sideline for a little bit, he'll walk that out. So a turnover on downs, and North will get the football on offense for the first time here in the second half. Of course, they had the scoop and score from Drake Chapman to start this third quarter off the second half kickoff. That was fumbled by Johns. Chapman picked it up at the 18 and took it in. Two-point conversion good to make it 14-8. And now Norse football at, the, at their own 45. And Dennis is not out there at the moment. So we'll have a new quarterback here. And it'll be from the gun. There's a penalty marker in on a run to the right side. Legal shift. Was that 18 for North? Yeah, I think so. But it, if you're on that sideline, I'm looking right now. I need a number on that one. See yeah, that is number 18. Yeah. Okay, that's Cole. Okay, Kerry and Cole, I got it. Illegal shift. But it is a legal shift against North, so five yard penalty. So Cole in there at quarterback for. Braden Dennis trying to work out a little tweak to the ankle. Dennis back in there now. And he's going to hand it off on the right side, breaking a tackle. Nice stiff arm at midfield and near the first down marker. A uh, great run for Cole. Yeah, he really finished off that run literally right in front of me. And you always like to see a runner that you know, that breaks tackles, but not only that, how they finished the run. It looked very, uh, very much Anthony Burris-like. Hey, he finished off that run there by the young man. Great job. He takes it to the Bulldog 46 and to bring up a second and one for North as North trails south. 14-8 with 4.15 to go in the third. Dennis under center. Going to hand it off. Loose ball, fumble. I think South's got it. Well, it popped out again. And I think did, South yeah. on the second. Karen got it. You're right, Greg. And it's a second time the ball's hit the ground for North tonight, and the fumble recovered by the Bulldogs. Jaron Joseph. Big play there. And, but. Another costly fumble for North, and South's going to have it right on the 50-yard line. With 3.58 to go in the third quarter. Seward, going to hand it off. Coming near side with the football is Langley. Makes a nice cut at the 30, 
and is going to be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Langley again, great run to about the 22. The only bad thing he does is he puts that ball in one hand, though. That's, that's asking for a disaster. 28-yard run for, make it 27, down to the 23-yard line for Langley. And a fresh set of downs for the Bulldogs. 136 yards for Langley on four carries. I was told he, he actually palms the ball. <laughs> Receiver either side for Seward, who takes a snap. Hands off to Wolfork, trying to get off the left side. He has the 25, 20, a little running room, 15, 10, and he's in for the touchdown. 23-yard touchdown run for Mikey Wolfork, but a penalty marker down. Blocking the back. This one's going to come back. That's uh, six penalties for 45 yards. Bulldogs. And that one takes away a touchdown off the board. Yeah, and the, the, he didn't need the block either. He was already by the guy. He pushed him in the back. Two thirty-six to play in the third. South on top of North, 14-8 here in the eighth grade game. Henderson Middle School's annual North-South game, seventh grade game earlier. South won that one 48-6. And a close contest here in the eighth grade game. Football is back now to the 33-yard line. So it's a first and 20. Coming up for South. And penalty marker in, off, false uh, offsides against North. So instead of first and 20, it'll be a first and 15. As it goes to the 28. First and 15 for South at the North 28 yard line. Hand off Langley inside the hash right side to about the 20 yard line. Zane Lewis on the stop. As Langley picks up. About four, three yards to the 20. And it'll be a second and seven. Here's a snap. Seward fakes. Now he's going to throw. Lost it toward the end zone. Incomplete. Intended receiver Johns. And it'll be a third and seven from the 20 for South. 145 to go in the third with South on top 14 8. Third and seven from the 20. See where it's going to hand it off right side inside the 10 and still on his feet down to the six. A carry for Sice Marini. Zarin Marini's on that carry and gets a first down for South and it'll be first and goal for the Bulldogs. And a pause in the action. I think one of the uh, cadets kind of walking off slowly. That's Javion Young. Kind of hobbling off, being helped by the North staff there. 
We've been kind of fortunate with injuries today for the most part. Yep, since the guys kind of hobble off, I think everybody pretty much returned. Yeah, and we got one down and one coming off. One down for South, one coming off for North here on my side, number 52. I think it's Mikey Wolver getting stretched out. Yeah, looking like a cramp from here. Again, uh, we'll get you to UK basketball after the conclusion of our eighth grade game here today as uh, Kentucky playing the blue-white game. So blue-white scrimmage, courtesy of the Big Blue Radio Network. And that one uh, getting ready to tip. So we'll certainly have the second half of that game for you and may get uh, portions of the first half. But that one getting ready to tip from Lexington. A little preview of UK basketball. Here's a handoff to Langley coming near side. He gets down to the three. Handoff to number eight. A gain of four for Langley, and it'll be a second and goal from the four, giving the four, so a second and goal from the four coming up for the South Bulldogs, who have a 14 to eight lead with 25 seconds left to go in should this third quarter. Last play, they shouldn't have to make another play of the quarter, <clears throat> unless they just want to. Seward in the gun, takes a low snap, is going to throw, has a man open, touchdown. Elijah Hamilton on the reception from Tucker Seward. Seward's first touchdown pass of the day. At time ends on the third quarter. It is 20 to eight with the two point try coming. So Seward to Hamilton for the score to put him up 20 to eight. Good play there. No doubt. This to make it a 22 to eight game. On the two point try coming up here for the Bulldogs, Seward, going to throw again. Has a man there, just over three men in the back corner of the end zone. Two-point conversion, no good. But after three quarters, it is south 20, north 8 here on WSON. Twenty, North eight. Tucker Seward to Elijah Hamilton, four-yard touchdown pass as time expired there on the third quarter. So South will kick it off and it goes out of bounds. So the Cadets will get it about the 35-yard line. Be sure to join us Friday night. Regular season finale for the Henderson County High School football Colonels as the Colonels go on the road to take on the Owensboro Red Devils. And then Big rivalry there. Yep. A week from this Friday night, the playoffs will start for Henderson County as the Warren Central Dragons come to town. 
So north from the 35, we'll have the football trailing 20 to eight. They need two scores here in this fourth quarter to get back in it. to the football and now I have no idea what we're doing. Is there a timeout here? What in the sand here? Oh, we're going to re-kick. All right, so I'm, let me tell you a conversation on the sideline here about that very thing. Good. They hadn't flagged any kick out of bounds all day, seventh, eighth grade game, never. They just moved the ball out to where you went out of bounds if it was beyond the 35 or to the 35 if it was after the 35-yard line. And so finally the discussion was made, and Coach Rob Rich, who's over here on the sideline with me, on the north side said, hey, you can make them re-kick. You can, you can uh, flag them, back them up five, and they kick them. If you want to keep kicking out of bounds, that's fine. We're going to keep backing you up. So they took the uh, advice, and here we are. All right, so there they're back now. It looks like to the 35. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. it. Okay, yep. there we go. Now I bet you he won't do it again. Well, no, he's lined up to do it again. So they could can as they could back him up for free kick again. And if they if they so desire, absolutely. Now if they kick it around midfield, then take it at midfield. Right. So here so, we go. Yep. So uh, South to kick it off here again. This time five yards deeper back at their own 35. And they go for an onside kick, oh, wow. and they got a shot at it. It's loose, but <laughs> North recovers at the South 49-yard line. Jack Robertson there to <laughs> fall on it for the cadets. So North will have good field position at the South 49 trailing. 20 to eight, just underway in this fourth quarter. With 7.51 to go, eight minute quarters here for middle school football, so. North has been able to move the ball pretty well today, but a couple fumbles have been critical for them. Uh, but they almost need a quick strike here to have a shot to need two scorers here in this final quarter. Dennis looking over the middle. Now he's getting chased. The quarterback is going to be ran out of bounds for about a two-yard gain at about the 47-yard line. He gets a couple, does Dennis, and to bring up a second and eight. Good news for North. The clock stopped, 740. We ran out of bounds. Again, immediately after this game, we'll have the presentation of the Colonel Cup, and then Steve Town will get a uh, brief interview with the most outstanding players on each side, and then after that, we'll get you to uh, the UK blue-white scrimmage just underway. So, uh, second and eight coming up for the cadets at the south 47 snap to dennis throws complete at the 40 and a first down for the gets now breaking free is zane lewis far sideline he fumbles the football and it's loose picked up by south at the five and being brought down right down boy the fumbles have just crushed north uh, it was knocked it was out, knocked out I, think I think, by Johns, Johns and recovered by Jaron Joseph after what it would have been a first and goal situation. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to have another conference. I think he's going to say the ball was out of bounds. Well, they also they could say that the defender also went out of bounds and did not reestablish. And coming back in to be the first guy to touch the ball, but I think that is an offensive rule, not a, maybe not a defensive rule. The far sideline for us, but it appeared to me it stayed in. It did to us as well. I'm looking right down. I'm on the 
I'm a red just beyond nope. midfield. Oh no, North football. So no, yeah. Yep. Yep. So it must have went out of bounds there when it was initially knocked out. So good news for the cadets. They have the football first and goal, a break there after their third fumble of the day, but that one went out of bounds, keeping possession with North. And the officials talking with some of the coaches over on the south sideline. But it's first and goal. I think at the nine, Scotty, is that where he is? Or on the. <sighs> Looks like the eight. But I can't tell. Yeah, I think it's eight. So first and goal from the. Eight yard line for North, trailing 20 to eight. Here's a handoff and getting down to the two on the carry is carrying Cole. And it'll be a second and goal from the two. As we go under seven minutes to play in the game, South 20, North eight, but North a second and goal from the two. See if the cadets can punch one in. This will be their first off into score. Remember, the other score came on a scoop and score on a fumble return. It is Dennis, and he's in for the touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run for the quarterback, Braden Dennis. It makes it a 20-14 to 14 game with the two-point try pending. Pretty quick strike. 237 off clock. Yep, that's what they needed. They needed a quick quick score. And they'll try for two. Dennis under center. Takes a snap. He's gonna hand it off. And I think they're short on the two-point. They are. They gave it off to Cole. He's tackling at the one, so the two-point conversion, no good. North to kick it off in a 20 to 14 game, and they kick it middle of the field, taken at the 26 yard line by the Bulldogs, cutting back at the 30 and being dropped at about the 39 yard line. On the return was Langley for South, and that's all they'll have it up six with six minutes to go in the game. Jonathan Langley on the return, brought down by number 70, Jaden Negron. Ball is fired at the 38-yard line. 
5.45 to go in the game. The clock was uh, running. They may put some more time on it here. Well, there's been a bunch of times that it was supposed to have started anyway. Point, they're going to play. Snap to Seward. Handoff Langley has the 40, first and midfield in the North Territory, far sideline 40, and taken out of bounds there. Big run from Langley, a first down into Cadet Territory down to the North 39-yard line. As we'll go under five minutes to play in the game with South on top, 20 to 14. 170 yards for Langley. That's a pretty good night. He's trying to get 220 with uh, match Burris last night. 92 yard touchdown run for Langley in this game. But Langley got a better average. Oh, he's only rushed seven times. <laughs> yeah. South from the north 39, up six. Low snap, Seward has it, going to hand it off. Wolf Fork coming near side, tries to cut it back. Nice move with the 40, has the 30, near sideline, down to the 20, 15, touchdown, Mikey Wolf Fork, 39-yard touchdown run, his second touchdown run of the day. Coming back. Wow. Penalty marker down and, and takes the, away the Yeah, and I'm touchdown. telling you guys, the block was 15 yards away from where the young man was, totally unnecessary. South has done that a couple times then today. Yeah. That's seven for 55, and they've all been big ones. Yep. So wipe the touchdown off the board. Would have been a huge one. Instead, that penalty going to back up the Bulldogs with 419 to go. Should be first and five. Though. Should have got five yards out of it. Should have. Go get the football that was left in the end zone down there. Everybody was looking like, where's the ball? Now they got it back in play. Langley's got to be getting close to a record or something, surely. I don't know. There's uh, it's a great performance, but there's been some terrific middle school players over the years. I know, but it's a lot of yards it is. for seven carries. So it's going to be a first and six here. After that penalty, handoff coming near side Locks and at the 25 on the carry there was Marini. So Marini gets it inside the 25 for a first down. To the 24 yard line. To the 24, first and 10 for South. 4.19 to play in the game, south up six, and they have the football at the north 24. And the clock did not start at all on that possession, on that play. That's, like you said, kind of yeah, evens I mean, out. It was, not, it was yeah. running earlier, so like you said. <laughs> Receiver to either side. Here's a snap. And it's Wolf Fork trying to get outside the numbers. Far sideline has the 20. Stiff arms a man and brought down for a first down at the 13-yard line. A gain of 11 to the 13 for Wolf Fork. Stayed inbound, so, but it was a first down, but they're out stopping that. That's fine. Yeah. Our coaches are actually getting onto the main ref about that clock not starting. He said, all I can do is raise my arm. Which is right. Because there's no headsets up here. So Boy, first shadows, and, my friend. First and ten from the 13. Dark uniforms and shadows. Seward dropped the sense, picks it up. Good job, but he's going to be taken down at the 20. It was a bad snap. He got it, but then... Taken down at the 20 yard line. A loss of seven. But under three minutes to go, North maybe, maybe think about taking a timeout. They have two left. A 
A second and 16 on the 20. Four south. Seward hands off to Langley, spins at the 18, and going to be brought down at about the 16. Now North will take a timeout. It'll be a third and long timeout. 2.26 to play in the game, south of the ball, facing a second, excuse me, a third and 14 when we come back on WSON. Two twenty-six left in the fourth quarter. South 20, north 14, south of the football, facing a third and 14 from the north 17-yard line. Seward has it, looking to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. A little bit of a break there for north, because that has stopped the clock without them having to use a timeout. And it'll be fourth down. Yeah, it's fourth down. Almost thought they would have ran it there. Just yeah, to make it use that just, last, yep. another time out. Yep, me too, Scotty. So fourth and 14 from the 17. So they can get a first down without a touchdown. But a big play here. See if North can get the ball back. See where it has it. He's rolling left, going to throw, and it's incomplete. And the clock stop at 2.14, turnover on downs. North gets it back. So North with, I believe, two timeouts left. Well, I got it. Or get the football at the 18-yard line, trailing by six with 2.14 to go in the game. A little drama here in the eighth grade game after South won the seventh grade game. Big 48-6. The cadet's going to get a chance to possibly tie it up with 2.14 remaining. Dennis in the gun. He's going to hand it off. And a good tackle just a couple yards there on the carry for Kerry and Cole. And it'll be a second and eight from the 20. As we go under two minutes to play in the game. Snap to Dennis. And Dennis fights to the 25, brought down there. A gain of five. North takes their second timeout, and they'll have a third and three when we come back. South 20, North 14, North ball. Third and three from their own 25 when we come back here on W.
Oh, we caught it. What number? Shouldn't the clock stop first down? Big play out of the timeout. As when we were coming back on that third and three, a big pass play all the way to the 40-yard line, so a fresh downs for North. And I think they may put some more time back up on the clock. 127 maybe, Scotty. I don't know. I think they want 127. It's 123 at the moment. And now they got it. And now he wants it to start it though. Will they start, start it? it? Yep. Right there. Nope. Should start. There you go. Dennis from his own 40 getting pressured, looking downfield. Now he's going to tuck it and run. And he's taken down right at the 40 for no gain. Good job by South to keep him in bounds. And now North, I think, just took their final timeout. They did. So it'll be a second and 10. That's North's last timeout. They'll have the football at the 40. With a minute 12 remaining, it's South 20, North 14. Back after this on WSON. Dennis on the second and 10, gonna try to run it. He has the first down and gets out of bounds at about the south 48 yard line with a minute four to go in the game. Great run from the quarterback, Dennis. He's got out 70 bounds. yards on the ground now. Minute four left, it's south 20, north 14, but north driving first and 10 at the 47. And no timeout. Wow, south trying to get a player on, he didn't even have a helmet on. Boy, if I'd been north, I'd have snapped that ball. <laughs> yeah. They get five yards. Minute four left again. North now, no timeouts remaining. Dennis takes a snap. He's running toward the far sideline, and he gets out of bounds. With 57 seconds left as he gets three or four yards. To the 44. Down. So it'll be second and seven for North now at the Bulldog 44. This feels like last night's game. Never ending. So again, really probably need to work the sidelines. Yep. And offsides against South. So a second and seven will now go as a second and two. Down to the 39 yard line. Again, North needs a touchdown to tie. They've been going for two. Obviously, would go for the two point conversion. Any point for that matter, though, would tie the game. Dennis. On a throw here, and it's incomplete. Dropped at the 40. And it'll be a third and two coming up with 53 seconds left. Seconds left. 
Been a heck of an eighth grade game coming down to the wire here. Third and two for North from the South 39. On a crystal clear day, breezy afternoon here at Colonel Stadium. Great crowd for the seventh and eighth grade game. Snap to Dennis, gonna keep it himself. Has the 35, middle of the field. And he's gonna be driven way back. I'll give him forward progress to somewhere near the 35, but that clock should continue to run. And then the North needs to get up there and make a play. They're in no hurry, but they need to get going. Yeah, they need to run it. Golly, this game's never gonna end. Now the far sideline stopped it. And now they get going again. 30 seconds left. First and 10, Dennis gets it to the 24 yard line. That clock should stop for a first down. He's got 95 yards. It's not, so a little bit of clockwork here. First and 10, 10 seconds left. This could be it. That'll likely be your ball game. Dennis inside the four. If they get it and spike it in time, they will not. South hangs on and gets a 20 to 14 win over North. What a game. What a game. Great game here amongst the eighth graders. South gets the 20 to 14 win, sweeping the series as the South seventh graders won big 48 to six. South eighth graders hang on to beat North in the eighth grade contest, 20 to 14. We'll take a timeout and come back with some player of the game interviews after these messages here on WSON.
them, the South Bulldogs beat the North Cadets 20 to 14 in the eighth grade contest that went down to the wire. And the Colonel Cup trophies and most outstanding player awards being given. And Steve Town will have an interview with those two young men. As Henderson head coach Josh Boston will present those awards and then He'll gather the two teams together as for once uh, Bulldogs and Cadets, now at the end of their season, they become Colonels, always a special part of this contest. And Braden Dennis, who was actually uh, got shaken up on that last play, was named the most outstanding player on the north side, so not sure if we'll get a chance to catch up with uh, Braden or not. They're kind of tempting to him. He's up on his feet. Uh, I think maybe just lost his breath or got a little overheated, but good to see him standing. And Langley, who had a big game, Jonathan Langley, including that 92-yard touchdown run to start, is the most outstanding player on the south side. And the Colonel Cup on the eighth grade side goes to the South Bulldogs, and Steve will get a word with Langley, who had the 92-yard touchdown run after that Big fumble early on for North. It fumbled inside the 10. All right, guys, I've got uh, South MVP Jonathan Langley. Jonathan, uh, talk about the win today. A big win over a big opponent, right? Yeah. What about running the football today? What was working well for you, my man? When I got to the outside. And the speed finished the job, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Great win. Celebrate with your team, buddy. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I think that we're just going to have to put a pin in talking with uh, Brayton. Yep. And maybe we'll get a chance if, before we go off the air. But if not, great job by the young man. He turned in a brave performance as the North quarterback today. Gentlemen, back to you. All right. Thank you, Steve. Coming up next on WSO in Kentucky basketball, the blue-white game as the team's meeting down at midfield now, 20 to 14, your final score here in the eighth grade game. The seventh grade game was all south, 48-6. Special thanks to our sponsors for our middle school games here this afternoon. The Poncho Club, St. Anthony's Hospice, Assurance Consulting and Testing Solutions, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance on Zion Road, the Henderson Police Department, Sureway, Argus Collision, JJ's Burgers and Pies, Dixon's, Bulls Electric, Baird, DSS Rentals, ATA CPA's Business Advisors, Heron Auction Realty and Henderson County.